state your name, your age, and your nationality. Hi. Yeah. So I'm Jackie Godby. I am 30 years old and I am uh, part from the United States of America, currently live in Chicago, Illinois. That's awesome, Jackie. And you've been sweeping the podiums for the last two weeks with two wins at the last two Cycling BC Virtual BC Cups. Um, now, which team are you racing for? So I am racing for Triple X, and we've also got two men over on the men's side. It's a relatively small team, but we're quite powerful. Uh, particularly once you know those two male racers are my coach and my fiance, respectively. Yeah, you guys are powerhouses out there. You sweep in the women's field and, and they're throwing it down in the men's cats as well. Um, now, regarding Saturday's race, the Criterium and Canary Wharf, it was let's not as exciting of a stage as the first one with a relatively flat course. Um, so did you have a pre-race plan for that day? Yeah, so going in, uh, knew it was a flat course, knew it was going to be very little up and down, so you weren't going to plan on a lot of letting the hills lead the attrition race. You know, you couldn't rely on people just deciding that this 5%, this 10% grade, this 20% grade, like we saw uh, that first week, was just going to be too much. So you really had to take advantage of the RGT physics. So going in, I knew... I think a good strategy was going to be to get that core group down as much as possible for a reduced boot group bunch sprint, but that we were always going to see that reduced bunch sprint at the end. And so that was what I was going into with the mentality, every lap thinking, you know, how can I make everybody else hurt while still saving myself, still saving the freshness for that final, uh, final finish line. Yeah, that's really awesome. Um, and I noticed that on the first, the first stage of the race, you went for the, the solo breakaway and just rode straight off. Um, but for this race, you decided to stay within the pack and kind of and kind of toy with them rather than try and break away. So did you have a lot of faith in your, your sprint for the day? I actually, it wasn't so much of faith in my sprint for the day as much as faith that I was just going to be reeled back in on that short of a course. You know, I did not think that a breakaway that I led was really going to succeed, um, particularly in such a, such a small field where, you know, you have this small group of women who many of them are teammates um, and would be able to put together a very effective chasing pack. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So you decided to play it safe with the smaller course on the flat course. Um, now talking about RGT and the courses and the physics next weekend is going to be on the dirty reaver course. So there's going to be quite a bit more climbing. So what's your, what's your goal for the weekend? Obviously, apart from winning, is there something that you'd like to achieve? Um, I would very much love to make a breakaway. You know, I think if there is, was, you know, one course out of the series that's really designed for it, it is the dirty reaver. I think the combination of, you know, the one, two hill sort of punch where you have that sh very short, very steep 90 second hill in the beginning, followed by that very steep longer climb on the gravel, you know, really sets you up for some exciting group dynamics. You know, now that I've said it, it's out in the open. We'll see how the field reacts. Yeah, it definitely will be. I think it'll be a little different from the last two weeks. Um, and we're excited to see you ripping up the women's field. Um, thanks a lot for taking the time to chat with me this afternoon, Jackie. Yeah, thank you so much. This was a lot of fun.